This tutorial is sponsored by Patreon. Thank you all for your support. Hello everyone. So, first, uh, for this to work, you need to have interaction system that we already made. Uh, so the link is going to be in the description. And once you finish the interaction system, uh, which is like 8 minutes long, you can come back here and do interact hand uh, icon UI. Uh, actually, we are not going to have hand icon. For now, we're just going to have placeholder to show you how it works. But yeah, so the first thing, um, we just have a normal character uh, movement in the first person, right? And we have our interaction system that you can see in the link in the description. So there you can follow the tutorial and get this line traces shooting because they will be important. Okay, so first thing, uh, what I want to do here is I want to create a new user widget and call it interact UI. And inside of it, we're gonna get canvas and we're gonna get image. And this image is basically going to be uh, your interact icon. Align it 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and uh, this needs to be zero. So now here I will set like 16, 16, as for the purposes, and I'm gonna make it red, right? Uh, but uh, here as well, if I can remember, I have master UI. So you will probably have your master UI as well, but if you don't, create one. Just create another uh, user widget and call it master UI and you will uh, put everything inside of it. It only has a canvas panel. So now, uh, here I want to add also image. This is going to be crosshair, so you don't have to do it if you don't want. But I'm gonna create it just so you can see the difference. And it's going to be 1616 as well. So. This is going to be normal crosshair that you're going to be seeing, right? Uh, but to show the master UI, you need to go to your um, character. Let me just see where is my Let's see game. Yeah, it's here. So yeah, uh, to show master UI, you will just uh, create a widget and add it to viewport and uh, also promote this to variable. Okay. But uh, we are not here for that today. Uh, we are here to create an um, interact icon. So, first thing that we want to do is get event tick. And uh, yeah, you might think this is very bad to do it this way. But this is not very uh, heavy code and it's not gonna impact your game too much. And uh, most of the games do it this way. And you don't have to worry about it. Okay, so now. Uh, we need to get this interact UI and uh, how are we gonna get it is by creating a widget right here or you can do this in player controller but I already started in character it's it all depends how you want to do it right uh, obviously it's better to do it in player controller but you can do it here as well so create a widget interact UI and I'm gonna promote it to variable I'm not gonna add it to viewport and you will see why. And I will call this interact UI reference. I don't want to add it, uh, this to viewport on the begin play because there is no point. I want to add it when I'm overlapping with interactable uh, actor. Okay. So from the event tick, uh, first I'm gonna get interact UI reference. I'm gonna right click on it and convert to validated get. So this will um, stop any um, errors really uh, if there is no interact UI on the screen uh, and you would uh, shoot this event tick you would get error so this is going to stop uh, so if it's not valid we are not gonna do anything and we're gonna do line trace by channel and uh, we need to get our camera so if you remember how we did uh, interaction system I can uh, actually go there. So this is how you would do it. And I'm just gonna copy this, take everything here and uh, explain it to you again. So to get calculation of shooting the line trace, 
we would get our first person camera that is actually our eyes, so it's this one. And we would get its world location. And its world location would be starting point, right? And then we would add that to a forward vector that is multiplied by interact length. So how, how far our uh, line trace is going to go. That's the variable that we made in the interaction system tutorial. So I highly recommend to go and follow that tutorial as well. So now when we add both of these, forward vector and world location, we get that line trace shooting from our camera and that's going to be our endpoint. Also, we don't want to draw debug type because it's, this is event tick and it's going to uh, draw it a, l a little bit more times than usual. And out hit, we are going to break it, just like that. And return value is going to be branch. So hold B and left click to get a branch. Just like that. So from there now, we're, not, we're gonna get another branch. And this branch is going to be asking if hit actor does implement interface. And the interface is the one that we created when we were creating this uh, interaction system tutorial and it's BPI interact. So how this works is, uh, we pull return value into the condition. So how it works is uh, basically when we Let's say uh, when I go to this uh, actor, this flashlight, and if this flashlight has implemented BPI interact, it will give me interact icon. In this case, it will be red dot, but we are not done with the code. So let's go. Uh, so from there, I'm going to do another branch. And this branch is going to be uh, we are going to get interact UI, right? And we are going to check is in viewport. And this is going to be our condition. So if it's not in the viewport, we need to get our... Um, just a second. We can call this crosshair in master UI, so we can hide it if you have a smaller interact uh, icon so it doesn't overlap so just name this crosshair and make it a variable and then when we get master reference like this we can get crosshair like this and we can set visibility of that crosshair to be collapsed so what it means is when we show the interact icon we don't want our crosshair right so it's gonna hide the crosshair and we're gonna add to viewport uh, we need to add it uh, interact UI reference to viewport, yeah. So then we add interact ref uh, interact UI to the viewport. So we hide the crosshair and we add the interact icon. Very simple. But we also need to hide it somehow, the interact icon. And then we need to show the crosshair again, right? So condition is again going to be is in viewport. Make sure you can follow this. And this false is going to go here. So if it doesn't implement BPI interact anymore, we don't want to show interact icon. And also, uh, uh, um, also here, if we don't have any return value, then we don't want our icon to be there, right? So uh, now from the crosshair, I'm just gonna set visibility and set it visible again, like that. And then from the interact UI, I can pull it like this, I can just remove from parent. And this will work perfectly. If we go and test it out right now, uh, just compile the master UI for this, no errors. We go and test it out. So if we overlap with something that is interactable, as you can see these batteries, we get this UI. We can do any literal um, icon. So let me just go ahead and add icon. Okay, so now we have icon. So with this icon, I'm going to go inside of the, where did I put it, interact UI. 
And to the brush, I'm gonna change this to crosshair. Uh, just find your uh, icon really. And I'm going to set it to be white. And also I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Like that. So now if I'm about to interact with something, as you can see now, uh, I have my regular crosshair and it's going to disappear and create another uh, interact icon crosshair. As you can see, we don't have the, that cube and everything looks so smooth here. Yeah. So if we press E, you will see these uh, items are interactable. And even uh, we created some doors tutorial. <clears throat> if I come to the doors, as you can see, everything is interactable here. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.